Yes, please. Thank you. A lot of times we come way to a, uh, on the other side of town just to get what we need like it's a lot cheaper I live on the south side everything's a lot more expensive and certain items we don't have across town like this here mustard greens we got plenty of collard and everything else we just don't have any mustard greens and I thought about getting another pack but nah I don't think so so anyway I'm gonna go and see what I need I got this recipe from iHeart Recipes for the uh, actually for my ham and for my turkey like i was saying they made stuff a lot more uh inexpensive for us like bell peppers are three for a dollar so but let me show you how small they are look how little they are they are super super small guys i don't know if y'all know but this is what they call a male bell pepper and this is called a female, which is a lot more tastier than those. I don't like the ones with the, the male. No, I don't like those. So I'm going to go ahead and get three because they are super small. So stay tuned, guys. One more. Uh -uh. Do this. There we go. A lot of baking. So, one of my favorite pies around this time of the year is a uh, buttermilk. Ooh, oh, that's pumpkin. Oh my gosh, do I want a pumpkin pie? Let's see. Let's go and see what else they have. So, these are our pumpkin pies. And they're only $3.98. Ooh, but I know they got them Patty LaBelle pies. So, ooh, look what I see. I gotta get it. I know I don't need it. But that would be my contribution, would be if I can grab it, that have the buttermilk pie, y'all. I got to get it. Oh, they have lemon meringue. This used to be my sister's favorite pie right here. Mm. I'm not a lemon meringue person, but I definitely got to get that buttermilk. Guys, I know a lot of people do cornbread and those dinner rolls, but how about some croissant? And they're a dollar off. So I'm only going to pay $2.68. That is my contribution of the dinner rolls. <laughs> Croissants, yes. <clears throat> I think I lost a, I think I lost a bell pepper. I need you to yeah, get that together. All right, let's go see what else we need. This will be new. Bacon, no sugar. I'm cool without the sugar. I mean, they have wiped out the other bacon that was on sale, but this is like three fifty today, and I, I, this is some really good bacon. If you don't like it, y'all see that hundred percent guarantee? We're able to bring it back. Yeah. This is her list. This is her list. But I can't find half the stuff. Okay, I know I have most of it, but and just when I thought I was doing good by coming out early, that's a lot. So anyway, I can't find that what she's talking about. So I do need some brown sugar for my sweet potatoes. And I always keep brown sugar also for my beloved sauce. So yeah, this is not what I, I should have left at six this morning. Cause it is already crazy. I think I found it. Yeah, I need sugar, I need dark brown sugar at that. Dark brown, got it. All right, at this point, I've changed my mind about the ba the mac and cheese she wants. That stuff was like, when you get through, you're going to be almost at $25 for a pan of mac and cheese. Baby, we're going to do it my way, old school way, but put a little touch and a little twist. Because ain't nobody got time for that. So, yeah, I'm going to go get some um, elbows, and I'm going to do this on the stove my way. So, let me help me find this stuff. Because, uh, thank you, daughter, but you'll be at work. And I'm the one doing this cooking here. So, yeah. We oh, no. Stop. Let me see what you got. What you got? Mom. What is this? Mom. A potato? Mom. No, don't lick it. It's nasty. She up here messing with the veggies. So, I'm cutting up, getting this stuff cut up. 
And um, get down, Break, Eric. Uh, can you pick my potato up? She just dropped, please. My purple potato. Potato. <laughs> so I'm making my first sweet potato pie, purple sweet potato pie. Getting ready to cut this one up. This is the orange. <clears throat> That's for the sweet potato casserole. This is for our sweet potato pie. Look how pretty that is. So I just want to show y'all the beginning of yeah how it's gonna be. So let me cut it up. Wow, that's crazy. This time I'm just letting it boil. Look at that purple water until they're nice and tender, and then we'll go from there with the mixture. So I'm trying this little gimmick that I'm trying out. Hold on. Ooh, stop it from moving. Alright, so I'm trying out this little thing I bought from the dollar, from Family Dollar. Has a little light behind it. And I'm going to see how it goes. You clamp it on, as you'll see in this picture right here. You clamp it on to whatever surface you're clamping it on to. Cut that little light on in the back and you record. And it's free. So I'm going to go ahead and get ready to get um, my turkey and my ham started. Um, so we can go ahead and get this done. So at least it could be done like by one. Because, you know, I'm only one person. Everybody still seems to be sleeping on this Thanksgiving day in 2019. It is like 9 o'clock a.m. or a little over 9. What time is it? Actually, it's 9.10. So, let's go ahead and get this started. You guys stay tuned. Yeah, oh, I'm liking this. I love it when I can be hands-free. I can move around. You feel me? All right, guys. So, I'm going to see you in a little bit. Stay tuned for the rest of this video on this Thanksgiving day, guys. So... Here's the turkey. It's not even that big, but it's big enough for us. I don't even know how many pounds this thing is. Oh, yeah, I read. This one's only 10 pounds, which is big enough for our family. And then I also have a ham. Let me fix this camera. Then I have this ham, which is like 7 pounds. And it's by this company here, Frick's. Never bought this one before, but they wanted a ham, so guess what? They got ham. So let's go ahead. I'm going to do this ham in the crock pot that I got from iHeart Recipes and um, let that cook so I can only use the oven. My mother, somebody else is bringing the other sides. And then I'm going to do some mac and cheese. <sighs> I'm going to try to empty my phone out so I can bring you guys along with me as I prepare this food and cook this food and do what it is that we do in this food. So let's go ahead and get into the video. You ready, guys? I'm liking this little gadget. All right, guys. So what I'm getting ready to do, I'm going to get ready to season. I cut these up last night. It's just bell pepper and onions. And I'm going to cut up a little bit of celery. And I use this garlic here. Because I ain't got time to be dealing with it. I cut my finger already last night. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stuff little holes in my turkey. I'm going to see if I can get you guys where you'll be able to see um, I gotta work this gadget. I really do. So let's let's try to find you a closer position. Hold on. All right. So let me rinse this off. So I don't need that many. Smooth old turkey boy out the way. Put my turkey in here. And let's rinse this off. either. So we're going to cut this off and we're going to get rid of it. Alright, 
right, so I'm just going to cut this. Let me show you how big I need. I want the pieces. guys so I cut up all the celery so basically now what I'm doing is just mixing it all up and because what I'm about to do with it you guys will see all oh, that aroma is the bomb.com so this is just onion bell pepper and uh, celery and this is for my turkey alright guys so stay tuned I'm going to show you guys exactly what I'm going to do with this so yeah, this is how I do my turkey. So we're starting on the yams, which I also got this recipe from iHeart. So, so far, we have melted the butter, put in a cup of sugar. Now we're putting in a cup of brown sugar. And then we're going to add the other ingredients. Yeah, got Desiree doing that for me. All right, so we got the brown. But look how many potatoes I have. I have a big thing. Did you put the whole cup? Are you measured to one cup? One cup. Oh, okay. I'm gonna say, cause you know, say whole cup, but I just put the whole thing. No. All right, so you need a teaspoon um, of the cinnamon here, teaspoon of the nutmeg. Probably, probably gonna need two teas. All right, so we just put the nutmeg. I mean, uh, was that nutmeg? Yeah. All right, nutmeg, and so now we're getting ready to put cinnamon. So what we're we doing is just making the. What do you call this? I wouldn't even know. So that's cinnamon. I like cinnamon, so do just a little more uh, cinnamon. Just a little more. More? No, that's good. And then now you're going to take your, um, that vanilla right there. Not vanilla imitation, but vanilla extract right there. And you're going to put, um, go for a tablespoon, because I, yeah, we're going to do a tablespoon. Let's get it back on the heat. A of a Are you serious? Well, that's enough. All right, so well, we had a teaspoon left. That was all I had. So now we got to get the stirring this bad boy. Okay. All right, guys. So she pouring the mixture over, getting it all out. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. So now that we've done that, we're gonna get ready to put some foil over it. Alright guys, so you cover it up with foil. I'm sorry, you cover it with foil and then it goes in the oven. Um, let me see how long. Let me see if I can get this right guys, because this is confusing. I guess you put the needle, let me see, in here. And I guess you pull it, pull heat. Oh no, we're not doing something right. I know I'm supposed to get more injection juice than that. Well, let's go ahead and inject this turkey. See. Oh yeah. Oops, my juice coming out of there. I'm gonna blow the end. Okay, why well, it ain't working? Something I ain't doing. Something I ain't doing right. I don't know what it is, but let me figure it out. Let me figure this out. All right, guys. So so far, I've been seasoned the turkey. You guys can see. It's stuffed with bell peppers, onions, and celery. It has been injected with that uh, pony, uh, this here stuff here. That, that butter. Woo. And uh, now we're going to get ready to put it in a turkey bag while my daughter's out lining the crock pot for the ham. We're going to show y'all that. But I'm going to need her to hold the bag over so I can put this big bad boy up in this turkey bag. Are you on your tootie? Um, I need one for the turkey. And then uh, we're going to put it in that pan over there. So I'm going to just need you to hold that open for me while I lift up uh, turkey. This is turkey. Turkey. All right, here we go. Got to put the camera so that it's straight. What the hell? My granddaughter over here to knock the phone down. Only way you keep her quiet is watching trolls. Her name is Trollette. <laughs> All right, guys. We're trying to get some better lighting. Okay. Ah. All right, now, now I need that pan, one of those pan pans over there. 
And let me show y'all guys, all this good, good that's at the bottom is not going to go to waste, honey. I'm pouring that in the bag. Turkette going to be good. Yes, indeed. We not playing with turkette. So we're going to get ready to cook this. I already have the oven set on the turkey. I'm going to set the timer. This turkey should cook for like two to three and a half. I mean, two to three hours. Two and a half to three hours. Because I think it's an hour per 10 pound. Something like that. I don't know. I'll read the instructions in a little bit. Okay, so we're going to set this uh, over here. I don't know whether I'm going to need to open that oven. Now, is the turkey going to be upside down? I asked the wrong person. Jane's about the and uh, she went like this. Okay, I got turkey. Put the turkey upside down. Turkey. Like this. All right. So we can pour the remaining of the juices off and all that butter and stuff. That's a stuffed turkey? No, it's just got the, the seasoning in it. Did it come with little tear, those strips? All right, guys. So now, y'all, that's how we're going to do. That's how we did the turkey. We're going to go ahead and put this turkey in this oven. I do have the oven set at 375. I'm going to read the instructions and see if it has to go up higher. It's okay, baby. Let's it takes it. instructions. So anyway, I'll see you guys in just a moment. All right, guys. So I got the turkey in the oven. I got the timer set for three hours. Now we're going to let Miss Jaden uh, put the glaze, get the stuff together for the ham. Okay, Remember, this ham recipe comes from I Heart Recipe. It's not my own. But it's cooked in the crock pot uh, for two hours. So we're going to get ready to put all this mixture together. And then um, I'll show you just how that's going to go. So this is all experimentation today. This Thanksgiving is not my own. All right, guys. So one thing she told us and it's optional. <clears throat> What's the outline of crock pot? So we use a turkey bag. Uh, if we can have a turkey bag can withstand the oven, it definitely can withstand the crock pot. So we're going to get ready to <clears throat> make the mixtures. We got our pineapples. We got our cherries. We got our nutmeg and cinnamon. We have our sugar. Uh, I need to probably go back on there and see what else there is. She, she has, uh, oh, we have our vanilla. We have our measuring cups. I need measuring cups. And um, so right now I'm going to get Jaden to get Jayden start opening up this can of uh, pineapple juice. All this stuff she has to pour into a bowl because it's going to go on top of the inside of the um, inside of the crock pot. So we're going to go ahead and let us open this stuff up first. All right, so basically she's just getting everything together by opening up her um, opening up pineapples and. All that good stuff while I go and look on iHeart and see how we really do this on my phone at. Alright guys, so let me just show you what she's done so far. So far she opened up the pineapple juice and the, uh, the, the cherry juice and poured it in a bowl. So now she's getting ready to put a cup of, uh, what is that? Brown sugar. Brown sugar into the bowl. We're going to use one cup because, uh, yeah, yeah we're going to use one cup of brown sugar. Make sure it's packed that way you'll know when it's a cup, okay? Because you got to pack that That's thing. You got to pack that thing. No. Yeah, it's probably not. So, let me put the camera oh, down, you guys. Wow. That's okay. That's probably going to end up to a cup. It's my hand. Just smiling. All right. She just smiling. Because I look a hot mess. No, it's okay, girl. We cooking. We cooking. Girl, she she ain't there videotaping. You still talking. I know you see this thing going. I know you see them numbers rolling. Oh, Lord. <laughs> she talking about I ain't recording. I got green. That's what's going We're going to block that. And you, and you talking and saying it. <laughs> Come just, on. No. That's a cup. Yes. All right, so I'm going to stop the So go ahead and pour your brown sugar in there. You don't have to, yeah, you're going to mix it up anyway. Just pour it in there. No. Okay. Um, let me see. That. No. Let me see. Where my phone go? <clears throat> All right, guys. So I do have to look on her video and see what else it is uh, that she puts. So so far, uh, we need mustard. Okay. So she adds mustard. We need mustard. I'm gonna do this. And now we get the baby's crying. Okay, Kyle, take it to her husband. We need to get this started. Okay, right. How much? Tell me stop. Hold on. Let me, let me, let me get the, um. All right, so go ahead and pour mustard. Channel, my Facebook, or All right, so we put mustard. She called for mustard. iHeartRecipe.com. iHeartRecipe is her name. From the uh, pineapples and 
have Go multiple ahead. orologies from the cherries in the bowl as well. Once those Ooh, ingredients uh, are in there, we are going okay. to mix mustard everything is, Y'all be surprised. Well. Okay, I think that's enough mustard. Can. Okay, so. so. The next step will be placing. All right, so guys, I didn't see her putting no white sugar, so I'm sure we're going to need some more brown sugar. Maybe, maybe not, but we'll see. So basically, she's going to start mixing it, mixing it up. So let me show you guys. Right, so hold on. Let me get the camera where they can see you. So mix it up as best as you can. It doesn't yeah, mean that everything is going to dissolve. Yeah, you're just gonna, it's going to melt all in the, in the heat anyway. Margany. So my children are coming one by one. You're coming it with your other hand so they can't see. Sorry, guys. I just don't want to waste it. All right, so at next, this is the next thing. So this is where those ingredients come in. So let's go to the next thing. All right, guys. So I have to cut. That's good. I had to cut. Uh, I have to, okay. I had to cut the ham off the bone because it would not fit into the crock pot. So basically, don't if you're gonna do this and have to use one without bone in it. So I'm basically just let me push this out the way. I'm basically just going ahead and lining this ham up into the crock pot because let me get let me get the ham in here and then I can just kind of show you guys what I'm gonna do next. But yeah, this other piece, this stuff here going into some beans or something. Don't throw that away. It's got a lot of good fat on it and a lot of good meat. So Let's trade places. Let's trade places. Let's try. All right, put a little salt in your water. All right, so there we go. We have it in here. So now the mixture that Jada made is going to get poured over your ham. Basically, just like this. I'm going to pour it over the ham. Because remember, we're doing this in the crock pot. Let me do it, but you guys can see it. Look at all that good, good. We don't want it. We want it to be evenly distributed. And um, I, I see why she outlined her pan because it keeps it from um, actually keeps it from sticking all the sweetness because it's so sweet sticking to the pan. And then she just took cherries and mine's have stems on it, so it's okay. We ain't gonna eat the cherries anyway. It's just basically for decoration, if you ask me. So we're just gonna put some cherries in here. And remember, I got this recipe from iHeart Recipes. Um, can't wait to try some of her other good goods that she have. And let me get these. I could not get these pineapples open on my can opener, but let me try again. All right, guys. So I got the can. I'm using the round pineapples. You can use whichever ones you want, but we're gonna use this one here. And we're just gonna basically. I'm just gonna set them on top. Everybody don't eat pineapples, so I, I, remember it has pineapple juice in it. So we're just going to set that on there just like that because that's all we're going to put. I'll put one more. And we're going to get ready to go ahead and cut this on now. She said uh, on iHeart, she said make sure you cook it for only two hours because what will happen is if you leave it any longer, it will dry out. So we're going to go ahead and turn this bad boy on. And let it do what it do. We don't have to use the oven for this because we got the turkey in the oven. My daughter got the water on for the mac and cheese. But we're going to line up a pan and get that oven because I need to get the, the, the yams in the oven. So, see y'all in a little bit. Look how they look. I did that. Well, Desiree did that. I ain't going to take the credit, but they look so good. These are ready. Time for the mac and cheese. We have 22 minutes on our turkey and about an hour on our ham. All right, guys, I cooked the greens last night, and all I'm doing is warming them up. And um, we have dressing coming, so I didn't have to make dressing, thank God. And we have dinner rolls, and I made a sweet potato purple pie, as you guys will see. So anyway, I'm almost done. I just got this done going. And then we have, remember, we have our turkey, I mean, our ham in here. That's going to be a minute. And uh, yeah, we're almost done. Go ahead and upload this video and I have to charge my phone. But make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys could put your, put your link in the video. I love you guys. Happy Thanksgiving to you. And we will see you later on in this video.